Ahem. All right then. According to legend, in the old days, those that which we call great old ones were resurrected from the depths of the land. They began to war with the humans that lived in the stars over the magic stone. Humans stood little chance before the overwhelming might of the great old ones. However, it is said that at the time during the fight for control over the stone, an immortal princess appeared with six philosophers. With the power of the six philosophers, the stone was able to be collected. And also within this castle, it is said that one of the philosophers passed down the magic stone known as Almerius. As to who can use this stone, uh, uh, is Miss Lumia still in repose within her chambers? Looking a bit exasperated, the mentor Aesop directed his eyes toward Grimm. Aesop, you don't need to speak in such formalities. Lumia used to be a bit of a tomboy some time ago, so she has little interest in that way of speech, said Grimm with a wry smile. Though you may be as gracious queen and Lumia as the contentious king, would it not perhaps be better if the opposite were true? I'm happy being who I am though. It's very peaceful being able to read my books every day, so I'm content just living like this. That being said, is it truly befitting? Ah well, now now Miss Lumia, please get up. It is time to study. Lumia awoke in the all too familiar study room. However, her brother Grimm was nowhere to be seen. Miss Lumia, have you awoken? Um, hey, where did my brother go? I do believe you are still half asleep, Miss Lumia. In order to defeat Dracula, Sir Grimm set off on an adventure with the young girl in red. Since then, it has already been three months, yes? Ah, that's right, murmured Lumia as she tilted. Miss Lumia, you did not want to listen to me when I said you should not try to go back then, but without the power of a ruler, there was little help that you could have offered. None other than a ruler could have gone. I know, I know. Lumia grumpily looked out the window. From whence Dracula had appeared, the faraway lands that he dwelled in had yet to lose the dark mist that hung above. And today, the dark fog looked even more ominous than usual. I wonder if my brother is all right. Sir Grimm can borrow the power of fairy tale characters. That is the power which he possesses as a ruler. Only by fighting with the borrowed power from the fairy tales is he able to break the tale of Dracula and his powerful nightmare. Yeah, I also believe that Dracula can be defeated. But, well, maybe I'm overthinking it, but it feels like the scenario of Dracula's defeat was already planned out by someone. Miss Lumia, what in the world? It's just a hunch, but recently these hunches of mine have been pretty well on target. Just then, as if from the nothingness of the space around them, a wondrous girl appeared before them. This is evidence that the time of awakening draws near. There is little time, so you must listen well to what I have to tell you. Wait a sec, who are you? Lumia gazed intently upon the wondrous girl. Well, there isn't much time to explain this, but there is something I want to tell you. Dracula, the demonic one, was defeated by the hand of Grimm, but Grimm has yet to fall. No, rather, he does not exist in those in this world. What do you mean? Did something happen to my brother? The false little red gave Grimm the grimrar of contradictions, and through continued use, he has become entrapped within the book as a tale. There is one last thing that Grimm entrusted me to tell you. You are the only one that holds the same power as Grimm, that can save the world. That red girl! I knew I smelled something fishy from the very beginning! I'll head right out! With a flustered face and her eyes near tears, she headed to the door. Wait, please! You must first awaken as a ruler! I have been entrusted with the final powers of Grimm. Please touch Moonstart, the magic stone of truth. Stone of truth? No way, something like that exists here within this castle? With a look of surprise, Aesop gazed upon the stone. Then, as Lumia touched the stone, 
Grimm's power became a shining light as it wrapped itself around her. This force is my brother's will? You have awakened your true power. Now, within this castle is Almeria, another true magic stone that should resonate with you. Grimm's power is that of the narrator, while yours is that of the restorer. You have the power to restore each story. Tales which have become nightmares can be changed with your power into their correct forms again. Filled with her astonishing new power, Lumia still wondered if it would be enough to save Grimm. Ah, that's right. I'll pass this book to you. If it's you, you can borrow the power from the characters from each of these tales within here. Lumia looked upon the wondrous girl as she grasped the book. Then, shall we? The tears had already left her eyes as Lumia became filled with determination. Fairy Tale Grim, Avenging the Darkness, was the name of the story. This video was made possible thanks to patrons such as Alucard, Craig McCutcheon and the Carnivalous Waltz.